Uh, on this specimen, the major contents of the infratemporal fossa have been removed, the mandible has been removed, and the mandibular condyle has been removed. What can be done is insert the probe into the superior cavity of the temporal mandibular joint capsule and push the temporal mandibular joint disc in an inferior direction. This is the disc in this position. My probe is now in the superior cavity of the temporal mandibular joint capsule. If I put my probe at this position, it might be the mandibular condyle, and this would represent the area of the inferior cavity of the temporal mandibular joint capsule. If I take and pull, on the temporal mandibular joint disc, we can see a little segment of a structure called the retrodiscal pad in the retrodiscal space. These are structures that are located behind the condyle of the mandible. There is elastic tissue in the superior lamina of this retrodiscal pad, which many individuals believe may help to reposition the disc when that disc is moved in an anterior direction. The elasticity of that retrodiscal pad, the superior lamina, may facilitate the posterior movement or replacement of the disc in its anatomical position when the jaw goes from an open to a closed position.